I don't get it. Here we go. Shit. Ugh. I'm at the end. Sort of, right? Some is Oh my gosh. What? I gotta go. Maybe. Here we go. It was the first birthday ever. I don't even remember that. Oh my god. I'm being teleported to me. There's nothing I can do to these people. Keep your hands to yourself. Can we go any slower? How about I uh, just stick with this and I go watch something on TV for an hour? So I can go through this and she'll be teleporting. Oh my god. I think I'm going somewhere like a barn. I don't know. What the fuck? Must just like slap their hands as I go by, like yeah, high five. Nope. Oh, it did work. I hit his hand. I was never gonna get out of there unless I hit his hand right on time. Oh, that's nice to know. Look at this. It was the worst birthday ever. I, I really don't remember him talking about a birthday. It could have been a birthday. Do I walk off like this? No, I don't. Enjoy this while we can. Okay, now let's go in here. Wow. We were lost, lost, but we found a house that looks nice.
how the board looks right now. Okay, good. Uh, here. back to me. It's so awful and I don't want to remember, but yes, I now know the face of my demon. My sister and I, we were taken out into the woods by my stepmother for one of her nighttime walks. We'd usually find our way back by leaving a trail of whatever we could grab before the walk. Uh, marbles, pieces of paper, even pebbles. However, one night... She took us deep, deep into the woods. We brought some bread to leave a trail of crumbs, but all the forest creatures must have eaten them. We were lost, so lost. We tried to find our way back, but it was so dark, and we were in a very strange part of the woods. We were lost for days, hungry and tired. We finally found a house and were so hopeful that someone might be able to help us. That house, though, that house was no ordinary house. It looked like candy. And there was something off about it. We shouldn't have gone in, but... We did. It was a prison for lost children like us. There was a woman in the house who would fatten her prisoners up and try to eat them. And that was going to be our fate. I was first. She tricked me into getting close to the oven, and before I knew it, I was inside. If it weren't for my clever sister, Gretel, pulling me out in time, I, was right. I would have been burned alive. We escaped that house and found our way home. After that, things started to get better. Our awful stepmother passed away, and my family came into some wealth. I guess... I guess we just forgot about those events. I, I mean, how could you live with those images and memories inside your mind? Then again, they were always there. The old woman still torturing us beyond memory, beyond time. However, I can now confront my past, confront this trauma. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. It is better to know than not to know. Mm. This guy's been through some pretty serious shit, man. Especially since his name is Cancel and Gretel, you know? <laughs> ah, am I going to the next patient? I am going back. Okay, I guess we are taking him on another patient. I feel it coming on my throat. Guess I better wash my mouth out with soap. God, I wish I never spoke. Now I gotta wash my mouth out with soap.